welcome back to the vlog it has been a week uh i have a lot going on this week so let's just kind of recap super quick dude having having a rocket at home for espresso and cappuccino is it's a game changer i'm spoiled um thanks to my team director for for getting me the whole setup dude anyways uh let's jump into just kind of what's been going on like it's been like you can see when i started this snow cold man it was like 19 degrees yesterday it's like negative something celsius just just overall it's been hard uh this week i am stuck indoors on the trainer doing zwift i did uh let's see here saturday did i get outside saturday no i think i was on the trainer see i was on the trainer saturday sunday five and a half hours oh, five and a half hours on zwick that's five and a half hours of my life i'll never get back <laughs> anyways that was gosh that was a big day that was a long day uh the other thing is monday was rest day this week again i'm doing a three-day block right now today is my third day of the three-day block tomorrow is a rest day um i'll explain this in a second tuesday i started sweet spot work uh basically I was doing 20 minutes 15 minutes 15 minutes like five to eight minute rest in between um the goal was to push 335 to about 345 so that was my sweet spot uh, my given weight right now weighing 148 pounds so for the sweet spots that put me at five watts per kilo that's super cool that actually puts me really on track for a lot of good things so uh yeah i did those knocked them out of the park basically i just did the epic climb i did the long way up uh took me literally i got there just under 20 minutes so i just carried over the top but <laughs> koM'd it on on Zwift, so that's kind of cool went down the backside and then went back up the epic climb that way and it took me about 16 and a half minutes so that interval ended up being a little bit longer then i went back down the long way and then i went back up that way and i actually beat my time by uh 10 seconds on that third one so instead of doing 15 minutes i did almost 20 minutes again um but yeah super strong and then the legs afterwards were they were cooked but um the endurance work was good yesterday was a long four hours 4 15 something like that of just zone two endurance and that is probably the hardest work to do on the bike doing just zone two endurance on zwift is just oh uh, someone put me out of my misery it is tough today though we have three and a half hours we i i have three and a half hours um i'm gonna be doing basically just aerobic endurance um zone two until the last i think hour and 15 minutes the last hour and 15 minutes of this ride I'm gonna do uh, two minutes at threshold and then 20 minutes at tempo. So it's like an over under, but not really. So it's two minutes at threshold at high cadence and then it's 20 minutes at tempo uh, with like a lower cadence. Then I get like a two minute break and I do two more sets of that. So I'm doing three sets total and that's gonna be about an hour and 12 minutes worth of, of tempo th like semi threshold work. Um, yeah, and then after that, Dude, I'm packing. I am packing for not only going out to California, San Diego to do a mini camp this weekend. Is there a bike there for me? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, our, apparently our inventory is a little bit behind. Uh, it's just Specialized is slammed with inventory. So they're doing the best they can though. That's what I love about Specialized. Specialized is always on the ball. Um, so far, all the UCI guys at camp have gotten bikes. Uh, me and Renee show up tomorrow. We're not really sure if we have bikes or not. So I'll be traveling with a bike, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, however you look at it. Best case is I have a bike there and I have a spare bike. Uh, worst case is I just have one bike, which is fine. And then, um, yes, most of our kit stuff has come in. ASOS is still delivering some of the stuff, but either way, I'm going to get some things. So that's cool. And then after that, I'm going up to Fresno for two weeks, hang out with my boy Nick. Man, it's 
been a morning. Uh, snow all the way down. So hopefully the flight doesn't get delayed or canceled. Well, it's not, I don't think it's gonna get canceled, but hopefully it doesn't get delayed. We shall see. Uh, yeah, made it here to Emily Fashion, so that's good. very specific reason why you should never fly Spirit Airlines. One, they charge you for everything. Two, you know, service-wise, eh. Three, usually not on time. I didn't fly Spirit Airlines, but we had to do some de-icing before we left Baltimore. And the pilot kept saying, we're waiting on the Spirit Airlines guy to get the ice. We're waiting on the Spirit Airlines guy to uh, now get approval for taxi. We're waiting on the Spirit Airlines. We're waiting on the Spirit Airlines. So I blame Spirit Airlines for me missing my flight connection in Chicago. Because now I'm stuck here for six and a half hours. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyways, it's the way it goes. Like... I swear, every time I've traveled to California, or at least to like camp in California, I've always had travel issues. Last time I went to San Diego, it was stuck overnight in an airport because of cancellations. And yeah. So uh, literally, I got to the gate. My flight left at 10. I got there at 9.51, and the guy was like, sorry, flight's closed. I'm just like... So me and the other nine people who just got off a flight to get here, no way, no way. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm on the, the later flight into San Diego, which means I won't get a recovery spin in today, but is what it is. And then tomorrow is a uh, really fast group ride. Um, I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. A lot of guys are like, oh, it's so hard, it's so fast. It's a group ride, like I'm fit, I'm ready, whatever. But outside of that, I'm gonna be dragging a little bit when I get there. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I had Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in forever because I have the espresso machine at home. I just got my first uh, Christmas cup of the season. Where's it at? Here we go. Starbucks. Remind you of how you can lose all of your money and how you can also drink 400 calories worth of a mocha. Thank you, Starbucks. All right, finally made it to San Diego. <laughs> that was a long day. Uh, uh, sitting outside baggage claim. Like everything made it too. Bag, bike, it's all here. So, uh, team director, Tachi, he's on his way down to pick me up. Super cool. That's what I love about Tachi. Like, he'll get all, uh, go out of his way to like help anyone. It's amazing. So I'm so thankful for him driving down here. I know where the hotel is, or uh, team house is, or whatever. I know it's about probably 35, 45 minutes away. So him just even coming down to get me, um, it's pretty cool. And I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. So it's, uh, I don't know, about 7.45 uh, California time. So technically, if I want to stay in California time, I got about 1.45 a.m. California time. Now I'm here. Long day. Ugh. Finally made it to team camp. Hey guys, Dude, I miss wearing the Specialized Helmet. Specialized Helmet is primo. 
Do you like the specialized helmet? Yeah. Love the specialized helmet. The shoes are even more cool. Oh, I love the shoes. How about the glasses? Do you like those glasses? Love the glasses. They're so sick. Super well. No, these are these are like so I have a couple other pairs, but I think these are like the best overall fitting. And I feel like they really shield your eyes. I agree. The adjustable nose piece also really oh. helps if you want to raise the frames as well with them. Some of us have like these really big camel hump noses and stuff so but it's more aerodynamic that way